Hey friends. Hey, how are y'all today? Thanks for hopping on and joining us. My name is Kim and I blog over at Salvage Living, but today I'm taking over the Maker Studio page and I'm super excited about it because it's always fun. We always have a lot of good ideas flowing around here and obviously they're great products. I love the Maker Studio products and I'm excited to show you this project today because I think you're going to have fun with it. It's going to be a great way to make your home yours and make your home organized, which always makes me feel better. So I'm going to show you real quick the items that we're going to use and then I'll flip the camera down so you can see exactly what I'm doing. But I wanted to show you what I'm going to start with. This is one of those paper magazine holders. This one's actually from Ikea, but you can find these at like Walmart and Target and different places like that. You can order them on Amazon, whatever you want to try. And then I'm using this. Is this the prettiest stencil, you guys? I'm obsessed with the new um, pattern stencils that Maker Studio has. This one's called the Geo Stencil. And guess what? Yes, we are giving one away today. So if you want a chance to win this stencil so you can craft with it at home, I just want you to talk to me in the comments and then tell some friends. Sprinkle the love, okay? Tell three friends about a Maker's Studio in the comments below. Let's see who they are. I know you know some crafty ladies who want to have a chance to come over and watch this and win too. So make sure you do those things and you'll be entered to win this amazing stencil. Um, so I want to show you how to use this. And since I'm stenciling on paper, what I'm going to use today are some of the gel art inks. Okay, I don't know if you're familiar with these, but these are great for stencil crafting and they're good for fabric crafting. Um, this is the metallic gold, and then I'm using the black, which is called um, Can't Never Could. Okay, so these are the two colors I'm going to be using today. It's going to be kind of an elegant look. Of course, I'm going to be using some squeegees and things like that, so I'll show you that as we go. Okay, let's get started. All right, let's get started with this awesome Geo stencil. I'm just gonna get it unwrapped. And I'm gonna show you how to make this magazine holder amazing. And let's talk a little bit about the um, a magazine holder and some ways that you can use it while I'm getting this ready. I do wanna point out that I really just want to make sure I'm um, stenciling the outside and so if you need to put something in the middle so that you don't stencil accidentally on the inside, do that like a little cardboard C. I'm gonna do this side first because it'll get me the spine and the side, but you know, if you're gonna do the whole thing, it doesn't technically matter what order you do this in. So I'm gonna make sure we can get a good pattern going. I'm super excited to do this one. I'm gonna get this started by lining up in this top corner and just going down the spine with this. It's gonna be pretty easy to get it straight on here. These are repositional stencils, repositionable, it's a hard word, <laughs> stencils. So get this edge straight and then go from there. You can pull it up and then you just wanna smooth it as you lay it down. You're going to want to get a nice, you know, clean stick to your surface. And this is a paper surface. It's a little bit of a um, shiny paper, if you will. And that makes me more concerned about bleeding. If I was using a traditional type stencil, it would be hard to get a nice, a nice crisp edge. But with these maker stencils, these mesh, reusable mesh stencils, that is not the case. So I'm just using my finger to um, get all the bubbles out. I see a bubble here, so I'm going to relay that down. You can just get it, get them all out. Go ahead and, you know, get it done right the first time. There we go. I'm a little bit thinking I'm going to two-tone this with the black and the gold. That's kind of the pattern I want to do on here. So I'm going to get started with the gold because I think I'm going to use less gold than I will black. I'm just going to work my way through this one. So I'm going to kind of want to try to work quickly. These paints dry not super fast, but 
fast enough that you know you want to you want to be quick so I'm gonna do this little inside square gold so I'm gonna paint the gold on there and I'm gonna move quickly through the insides to get this done there's an edge there that I want to reach so you know you can just practice with this make it up as you go whatever you want to do it would be beautiful all one color but I just thought two-toned would be fun and there's a lot of things that we can do with this stencil once you lay this pattern down on surfaces so we can talk about that a little bit as well because I want to give you plenty of ideas for this stencil um, so that you have multiple multiple ways to use it in your house um, but as for magazine holders why I have gonna make a case for those real quick on your organizing stuff is that I use them for my craft room I have some on my desk in my office they're not just for magazines I put stuff like sandpaper in them I put things like just notebooks and to-do lists and things like that where I just need to corral the clutter on my desk but they are really awesome in bookshelves and you can fill them with stuff that you need to have handy but don't necessarily want you know out in the open they're just a good option to having a box you can just tuck these in between some books on a bookshelf um, so having a pretty one with this pretty spine would be a benefit as far as I'm concerned so I'm gonna do this get all my gold on here I'm trying to move as quick as I can so I can get it pushed through I'll show you that next and like I said you can just kind of make your own pattern do it all one pattern if you want if this is too busy for you make it in your colors there's lots of beautiful colors in the gel art inks so you know make it your own do what you want to do so I'm gonna do this little squeegee to make sure I'm getting it in all the cracks and crevices that I need to be getting it in let me get my paper towel so I can wipe off the excess on my squeegee this just really pushes that paint through the mesh stencil to get a good crisp clean finish onto your surface these are so cute to make with note cards or anything like that I mean I just don't want you to forget that you can stencil on paper there's so many surfaces that you can stencil with these mesh stencils and I, I even forget how much fun you can have and the different things you can do with a stencil. It seems like it's something that you would just be painting, you know, to decorate walls or something like that with, but there's just so much crafting potential. You could do scrapbook pages with this, with these big patterned stencils and you could even do this as a base and then layer some of the other stencils on top of it especially like words if you wanted to throw some words on top of your pattern whenever you get it all finished and dried i've got a little on me all right so now i'm going to take this black and go over I have a little bucket I don't know if y'all can see this I just have a little bucket that I'm gonna put my stuff in so that it kind of gets wet and doesn't dry before I have a chance to take it to the sink and dry it this we're just gonna slap on and then I'm gonna spread it with my spreader I just want to get it in the right places here it kind of looks like a hot mess but I promise you it's gonna all come out it is going to be so pretty. I'm just going to do a little bit at a time. Let's see which one I want to use. I like the fact that we have all these different sizes and angles. So if you're working in a space where you're, you want to be precise, you have different options with the squeegees, okay? You can use a little smaller angle, smaller surface to make sure that you're not, you know, making a mess, getting it where you don't want to get it, that kind of stuff. Um, 
These new squeegees are my favorites. It's one of the best things they've come out with. There's the little pencil squeegee for really tight spots, and that is a personal favorite. The cool thing is, is that when you squeegee, you're gonna get a lot of excess paint onto your, onto your squeegee, and you can just use that in your next spot. Okay, see how I'm kind of just working it and moving it through this piece? So it looks like I put a lot on there, but it's actually gonna go a lot further than it appeared to go. Cause look, there's all this on here. So I can just smear that on there. I'm gonna go make sure I have all my spots covered and then keep going. And then when I run out of this, I will add some more. It's so easy and it just, it looks so impressive. It looks so not homemade, which is a personal favorite of mine. I want it, I want the things to look like my style and my personality and my colors, but I don't want them to look homemade. And that's what I feel like these stencils and these paints can do for you is just let you DIY. I mean, that's why I love DIY because you don't have to hunt down, you know, the perfect magazine holder and the colors that you want. You just make it yourself and it's done and it's exactly how you want it. It's got your personality and style on it and it's just, fun to make in the meantime. So don't forget you guys, we're giving away one of these stencils, one of these Gia stencils that I'm using today. Um, you can enter to win by telling your friends, inviting them to come craft with us, you know, sprinkling the love. Um, so go ahead and tag a couple people that you know, that you think would enjoy this kind of a craft and learning a new technique. Maybe they're scrapbookers or maybe they're quilters because you can do all these um, gel art inks work on fabric. You can make this on a t-shirt. You can make it on a piece of fabric that you wanted to put into a quilt if you wanted to do that. Baby clothes. I mean, you name it. Onesies. Gosh, there's some cute onesies. I don't have little bitty babies anymore, but they sure have some cute stuff for them. So we're almost done. I can use this last bit. And get nice crisp clean edges. I'm gonna do one little bit more right here and then we're gonna have it knocked out and I'm gonna show you how cute this is gonna be. Here we go. All right, you can kind of just look over your work, see where you, if you missed any spots. All right, I'm gonna put my thing in there. Now I'm gonna peel this off. Maybe I'm gonna start here so I can hold it a little bit better. Just slowly peel it off. I'm gonna immediately pop this stencil in my little water bath so that um, I can clean it really quickly. Oh, I don't want to get this on my fingers. Your fingers are your biggest hold up sometimes. They can really get you in a mess if you don't watch your fingers. And this is turning out so cute. It stuck really good because it was the first time I used this stencil. I love that. It makes it have just such nice crisp lines. If you are gonna use this on paper, I do recommend testing your paper first and making sure that your stencil doesn't rip the paper or pull the paper apart before you um, use it on a big surface. Okay, I'm gonna stick this in the water so I can get that paint off of it, my little bucket. How cool is this design, you guys? La -da -da. I'm loving it. So look, you're gonna see this spine in your um, bookshelf and it is so pretty. It's just a little touch of that gold it looks really great. 
All right, you guys, I'll finish this up and take some pictures so I can show you what the whole thing looks like. But what would be really cute is to put some words on the spine or something like that if you wanted to. Put a little label on it um, and just decorate your bookshelves with this. Love it. I hope y'all do too. Thanks for hanging out with me. Don't forget to tag your friends for a chance to win this stencil for free. Bye, guys.